This one's the uh, Shanghai Masters. Oh. So this, this for me is what just completely changed my life. Um, before this point, um, you know, my career was in a little bit of jeopardy. Me and Sophie had just had Finlay. Um, and at this time, it was my dad's 50th birthday and there was a surprise party in Tenerife, which obviously I had to miss because I was going to Shanghai and um, I almost didn't get on the plane because I'm very family orientated and um, I was gutted that I was missing out. And I remember ringing Barry Stark, my coach, and he said, the best present you could give your dad is the trophy. So yeah, we've obviously gone there. Um, Sophie actually turned up in Tenerife with about 200 pounds to her name, lost the 200 pound that we'd saved up and I remember her calling me in Shanghai crying, saying, I don't know how we're going to afford nappies on this holiday. What am I going to do? And from there, I've managed to win the tournament and just my life's just, just done that. And I'm very, very grateful. I've got to have a word with you. I mean, like the front of the house is like a car showroom. This is, this is like bling me up for the boys. What's, what's going on with the, the AMGs and, and, the, and the discovery here? Well, I've just got a little message for Floyd Mayweather, obviously, if he thinks he can compete <laughs> in the cars, then uh, he's got another thing coming. Uh. Um, yeah, this was obviously, this was actually a garage before this. You know, you can see the, the old roof where it used to be for the garage for the shutter. We've had it extended out to get the snooker table in. And uh, we thought, what better way to sort of keep the garage in the memory by putting a few nice little motors in here. Now this, oh, I mean, Ben, c come up in here, mate. This is, I'm, I'm just gonna take a few here. I mean, look at this. You've got the full on optics, the Wilson bar, yeah. massive TV. Jim Franco Zola who actually sent me a lovely message one year at the World Championships wishing me well. So that's one of my prized possessions, that is. I like the, um, oh, are you any good at the, you any good at the arrows? I've, I've got the technique, but I'm useless. So it's, it's one of those games, a bit like golf, that frustrates the hell out of me because I want to be better than what I am. I'm not one of those people that can just accept how bad I am. So um, you've got the, the William Hill darts, foam fingers there. Each year I, I go up to Ali Pali for the World Championships because it's my birthday and Barry Hearn kindly sorts me out some tickets for that. So um, I always enjoy that every year and yeah, I'm a big darts fan. A lot of players have probably, because it's just there for show, they've probably just chucked that away, but you've done well to get that back from Shanghai in, um, in one piece. That's actually, yeah, Stuart Bingham did that for me. Um, he was still out there, he'd lost in the semi-finals and he had a late flight, so he sort of said to me, look, don't bin that check in Shanghai, and he, he makes a little incision down the back of it and folds it so you can put it in your suitcase. Oh. Yeah, they did that in they did that in height order. So you weren't doing where are you? You're you're fifth from the left. Yeah. You're not doing too badly there. Well, actually, you are. You're made to look tall because you're next yeah, to Ali. Yeah, because I'm next to Ali. Yeah. Yeah, I I love all that. It's 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 so nice being a part of the Crucible each year and doing little things like this. Obviously, makes it a little bit more special. It must still put the hairs on the back of the neck to attention. Yeah, I I literally have to pinch myself every time I go there and. Um, you know, you're coming up into Sheffield and you've got the signs for the Crucible and the World Championships and, you know, you've got all the flags on the lampposts outside leading up the road and, yeah, there just seems to be a little bit of a, a different buzz to that tournament, doesn't there? And um, I think the people of Sheffield love their snooker and it's becoming a bucket list thing, isn't it, for the fans and it was, it was brilliant to see them back again this year, obviously. Um, let's just see... Let's see what a uh, multiple ranking oh, event don't... winner has in his fridge. Oh dear, oh! this is where you make me look bad, Unbelievable Rob. scenes. But no, there is, there is a reason for this. You're getting ready for a very special family birthday party. Yes, we are. Hopefully this obviously airs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hopefully this airs after the party because she doesn't know about it yet. But yeah, we've got, got my, um, my auntie's 30th birthday party. If um, she's watching this, I hope you had a good day, Nick. <laughs> Right, give us, a, give us a tour of the garden. I mean, this is, it's all been, again, a, a, a little bit similar to, to Mark, and, um, Mark and Vicky's place. You've widened it up. It's like the perfect children's house and the perfect party house. Yeah, you know, we've obviously got a nice, nice garden um, for the kids to run about. They've got their bikes on the go 24-7. They're kicking the football about. I'm actually starting to try and get them into golf. So I've just oh. bought them a couple of little clubs. Um, but yeah, we're, we're very lucky that um, Sophie's mum and dad, they build these lovely climbing frames. Um, so we've got a couple of really cool little climbing frames for them where they can 
sort of let off a little bit of steam. Sophie's doing a brilliant job because she's pretty much a single parent, you know, sort of how the snooker tour works nowadays. And um, yeah, I've, like I say, I've got good sort of grandparents around them um, that have, have done awesome for me and my brother. Um, so yeah, we're, we're sort of very family orientated. Yeah, and that, and that always comes across when you're when you're at an event. Um, a fairly uh, a fairly handsome sized barbecue. Are you quite are you quite useful? Do you like to do you like to get the burgers and the sausages and the steaks out every now and again? The belly would suggest yes. <laughs> um, no, Sophie does all the cooking. Um, to be honest, you know the weather's been lovely, so we have we have got some good use out of the barbecue just lately. Um, but we pretty much spend all of our time in the kitchen. I'm still young, fit enough, um, and able to obviously sort of, you know, do all the, the sort of dad things that I can with them and, and get, sort of muck in, you know. Finley's starting cricket, he's doing taekwondo, they're both getting into their football, like I say, and, you know, I try and get involved when I can. And, um, yeah, it's obviously important for them growing up. Um, now, what's a uh, lovely family picture there, so what, what was the deal with that? It's a bit wonky, actually. I'll have to have a word is with it? Sophie about that. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, it is a t I, I wouldn't... I... You're going to have to help me, Rob. Hang on. I'm not happy about that. Hang on. I th you might have gone too far there. Let's have a look. Yeah, uh, left a bit. I think that's it. So what... Right, there we go. What's the story with that, anyway? Was it a christening? Yeah, this was the christening uh, for Bailey. Um, a lovely property just down the road, actually, called Barton Hall. Yeah, so, this, is, this has been beautifully finished. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the builder's done a lovely job of this. Um, obviously, the glass staircase. Um, yeah, this was actually originally a bungalow, so this is all new. Um, he's, he's done this all himself, so, yeah, it's, it's lovely. All, the, all of us, all the world snooker guys, we, we felt bad parking our old wrecks out front. I mean, this is... Did you... Do you pol have you polished these? Your, this is... I can see my face in that. Have you polished this? No, this has got the ceramic coating on uh, from the, the local garage Centurion down the road. Um, do a lovely job. So, yeah, this is Sophie's car. This is the D's B's. He's gone, <laughs> he's gone for the Frey Bentos and the same colour as the Whirlwind. Now, that would be quite a convoy, wouldn't it? I don't know who else, like you and Jimmy, both with white Bentleys. There's the beginning of a great convoy there. This is the Bentley Continental. Wow. Um, this is the V8S. So this has actually got, this is the new engine in this one. Well, fairly new. Um, this is the four litre V8. So it's just, it's just incredible. It sounds like a complete monster. Um, and have, you, have you always, because I, you know, what I like about you and Mark, you obviously you want to treat yourself to nice things, but you're not an ostentatious person. But when you were growing up, did you always really like cars? Yeah, I've always been into my cars. My dad always used to, you couldn't really afford, you know, your top end cars, but he loved his Alfa Romeos. Um, and he'd, he'd literally be out there cleaning them all the time and looking at trying to get them remapped so they were a bit faster and louder. And yeah, so I've obviously grown up with that. And um, my two cars on my, my sort of dream list were, were the Bentley Continental and the Range Rover Sport. So. I'm just chuffed I've managed to get them both. Yeah. We always leave our cars this side so it doesn't get covered in bird poo, but um, yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. My wife that, loves monkey puzzle trees. I've got a great sort of local pub up the road and you know, from the photo that I've shown you before, we've got lovely Barton, Barton Hall, yeah. the grounds down the road as well. So um, yeah, everything's within walking distance and um, yeah, I'm surrounded by family as well, so spot on.